Friday night, a time to sit back, relax, and unwind. The end of a long week at work or school, and the start to a weekend full of possibility. Fridays, especially Friday evenings, are a happy time for most people. Friday evenings at the Riley home are a time for the family to get together and catch up. Every Friday, my fiancé's parents, Vince and Eileen Riley, invite their children, their son and daughter-in-laws, and grandchildren over for dinner. It has been a long-standing tradition and the norm of the group to order pizza at this occasion. Bridget, the eldest Riley sibling, stated, quote, Friday night pizza has been a ritual and a tradition in my family for as long as I can remember. When I was a kid, it was the event on Fridays to invite friends over to. We would have a huge table filled with my siblings, parents, and all of the guests we invited that week. Every Friday night, you could count on this event as a social outlet and a kickoff to the weekend. Now that we are older, there are less guests invited as our immediate family has grown. But still, Friday night pizza has maintained its spot as my favorite night of the week. Our Friday tradition keeps us united as a close-knit family. It allows us quality time with the people we love best. A meal as simple as pizza is actually more of an excuse to spend time together. No matter what plans we all have for the rest of our weekend, we always know that we will see our family at least one day a week, and that's no small feat considering our immediate family now includes 12 adults and three, soon to be four, babies. End quote. I have attended Friday Night Pizza at my fiancé's parents' home countless times in the past few years, but I paid little attention to the meaningful occupations unfolding around the dinner table. I focused on making sure I grabbed the slice of pizza that I wanted and making sure I got a good seat. At the start of the semester, and over the course of the past few months, I decided to pay more attention to my experiences on Friday nights, and I realized that meaningful occupations were unfolding before me in a variety of ways. Through observation and interview, I was able to uncover the many layers of human interaction. These interactions occurred in a variety of ways across many levels. My future in-laws, Vince and Eileen Riley, are the initiators of the group. Eileen views Friday nights as a great way of checking in to see how we are all doing and what we're all up to through food. She states, quote, As each new member of the family group was added, the menu changed to reflect their special likes or dislikes, and the members of the group's ever-evolving lives. End quote. For Vince, Friday pizza may be his favorite event of the week, every week. He stated, quote, By early Monday morning, I am already looking forward to Friday pizza. It takes all of my self-control to wait until Friday morning to inquire regarding attendance and orders. There is no better way to start every weekend than with a casual gathering with three generations of our family. Eileen and I realize how incredibly lucky we are to see so much of all of you. And in case we ever forget, we are reminded every week at Friday Pizza. End quote. Their steadfast dedication to their family is remarkable. It is through their continuing support and invitation to events like Friday Night Pizza that a culture of openness and communication has been created. Their values of family and communication have been instilled in all the members and without a doubt will continue to be passed down from generation to generation. Jill, one of Vince and Eileen's daughter-in-laws, stated, quote, I hope to keep this tradition of Friday pizza alive even when we get much older. Even if everyone is living in different places with a million and one things going on in their lives and there are plenty more Riley, Fagan, Jenks kids to join in. Brendan and I hope we can keep Friday pizza a Riley thing, even if it isn't every Friday. End quote. Almost every Friday we gather around their kitchen table to engage in this tradition. The place and space is important, but it is not nearly as important as its members. Regardless of where Friday Night Pizza is, whether it's at Vince and Eileen's home or the homes of their children, we gather around a table. The table and its chairs offer an invitation for members to sit, relax, and communicate. 
Although many other meals occur around these tables, Friday night pizza is a special time. It occurs once a week and allows the entire family to gather and spend time together. It offers a private time to share our experiences and create memories. It also allows members to catch up, bond, and play. The time the group gets together has become increasingly more important as some of the newer members have earlier bedtimes. According to Peg, daughter of Vince and Eileen and mother of Charlie, she states, quote, I like the routine and predictability of having the same plans with my family for Friday nights as a form of social participation. I think that having Friday night pizza helps to reinforce that my best friends are also my family members. I hope that my kids have the same mentality. Being so geographically close to cousins and adult siblings fosters a special loyalty and bond. End quote. Steve, Peggy's husband, stated, quote, I see it as a great way to end a long and usually stressful week. I look forward to Friday pizza to relax, have good food, some cold beers, and decompress. It's also much easier watching a toddler with 12 adults. I love how much everyone loves and enjoys my son. End quote. Once all members of the group arrive and the pizza is out, there's no pacing ourselves. We eat, eat some more, and then eat some more. New members of the group are enthusiastically accepted. Although these members may not always eat pizza, fruit, vegetables, milk, and other options are provided. We have appetizers, drink wine, and have pizza. Brendan, Vince and Eileen's son, stated, quote, it started as a free pregame with wine I couldn't afford and a free dinner. Then it turned into a chance to see my brother and sisters after a long week of pretending to be adults. Now it's an excuse to see my niece and nephews and see what new tricks they can do or what new tricks I can teach them. Friday pizza changes what it offers as our family gets older and bigger, but it has always been the perfect excuse to put everything aside and get together with everyone. And that's the most important part. End quote. We share stories about our weeks, and many of Yalom's therapeutic factors occur at Friday Night Pizza. For example, emotional unburdening, otherwise known as catharsis, occurs within the group. Interpersonal learning occurs as members of the group learn how best to express their thoughts and feelings and how to resolve differences among members. Feelings of universality are present in the group. Members are able to identify with one another, and we are reminded we are not alone. It creates a powerful sense of relief and support. When it is possible, members of the group help one another, whether it's by setting the table, picking up the pizza, or offering advice by imparting guidance. The altruism present in the group increases members' sense of well-being. Members gain insight from the group about themselves and about others. The youngest members experience the beginning stages of genetic insight from their learned experiences at Friday Night Pizza. According to Yalom, group cohesiveness has occurred between all members and cohesive aspects from previous stages such as orientation, conflict, and harmony stages continue. Conflict is no longer avoided and all the emotions can be expressed. Any problems that occur can be constructively worked through. According to Tuckman, this group has reached the performing stage and all members work well together. Molly, Vince and Eileen's daughter-in-law and mother of Patrick, stated, quote, I think Friday night pizza is one of the main reasons that Tim's siblings and their significant others are some of my closest friends. We see each other so often and are so involved in each other's lives, it makes the friendship natural. Now that several of us have kids, I appreciate this time even more. While the dynamic has shifted from chugging beer and to peekaboo contests with the little guys, the fact I get to see my niece and nephew at least once a week is something I do not take for granted. I also absolutely love watching Patrick form relationships with his grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. Having family on the West Coast 
also makes me realize just how lucky we are to spend all this time together. End quote. As you may already know from this presentation, there is a high sense of solidarity within the group. Although not all members are able to attend every Friday night, all members put forth an effort to be there when they can. Most members live either in the Riley's home or a quick drive away. I, unfortunately, live two states and a three-hour drive away, but still try my best to attend every opportunity available. All the members participate when they are present and continuously support one another. If a member is unable to attend, it is not uncommon for that member to receive a FaceTime call so they can still share in the experience. Even after dinner, the fun continues and meaningful occupations carry on in new ways. The children play and the conversation continues. Friday night pizza will forever evolve as the members grow and change. In conclusion, Friday night pizza is a tradition I will hold dear to my heart for many years to come. I am so grateful for my experiences and to be a member of such a wonderful group of individuals. And a special thanks to the Riley family for allowing me to use them as part of this presentation.